morality, and ethics. If you go to any dictionary, you will be told that moral means ethical, and many use it in that sense. I propose, however, that though the controllers of the dictionaries have conflated the two terms, in actuality they are different. Morality comes from culture. In some cultures, it's moral to stone a woman to death for wearing a bikini in public. In other cultures, not so much. However, it is never ethical. The first principle or law of ethics is do not willfully and without fully informed consent hurt or kill the flesh of another. Clearly, in societies that deem it moral to stone people, they work against ethics. It is never ethical to stone another. From this, we see that morals are subjective, while ethics are objective. The second principle, law, of ethics is do not willfully and without fully informed consent take or damage anything that does not belong to you alone. We can grasp that governments are thieves, as shown with eminent domain and taxes, both of which apply force to take what belongs to others. If you don't have an ethical right to take from others, how can you support others with authority behind them doing so. The third principle, law, of ethics is do not defraud another, which can only happen without fully informed consent. We can grasp that media are defrauding us as they cover manufactured events and give them to us as reality. You may think these events are real, asking why the media would lie. But when you consider the idea that authority might want us disarmed, the purpose of defrauding us becomes clear. And when you add the facts that governments are corporations owned by the ones who aim to control us all, controlling us physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Disarming us will make it all the easier to take control of us physically. Indoctrinating us in education controls our minds. Aiming stories in the news at our emotions and not our logic controls us in that regard. And with all that, our spirits are bound to their will. Surely, you might argue, no one in the corporation called our government is so motivated to control us. We are the land of the free. But when you grasp that money will promote psychopaths to power, they being the ones who will do literally anything to get the power money provides, and that well over half our planet's wealth is owned by fewer than 100 people here, that they can buy all major corporations, governments and their agencies, schools, media, medical, pharmaceutical, research, technology, law enforcement, dictionaries and encyclopedias, food production, water providers, communications, justice, law firms, military, black projects, and on and on, the agenda to control us becomes stark. If we rise up, they will put us down, 
calling us beasts and not gentle ones. They will see justification. So, what is the solution? How can we stand free without violence, without controversy, as gentle ones, as civilized beings? For individuals, engaging their system to become secured party creditors is a fair amount of a solution for individuals. But for human society here on our planet, when enough of us withdraw our consent from the systems they control, and consent to better, a way of doing things such that we all are our own authority, upholding the principles, laws of ethics, without the need for money to live richly, see the blueprint I offer, and so no psychopaths are promoted, we will solve for virtually every problem we see today. What can you do today? Consider becoming a secured party creditor. See link below and share awareness of the blueprint. See setting myself free, also linked, for more on withdrawing consent and not creating controversy. When a few of us do this, there will be resistance. When many of us do this, they will be overwhelmed. We can create vastly better than what they are creating for us now. Amaterasu Solar, Chill for Humanity, Love Always, Humanity Will Win.